It is in the harsher weather that we tend to become more conscious of transport, buses, cars and of course taxis. I'm Cameron Buchanan, I'm a member of the Scottish Parliament and today I want to find out more about the use of taxis in Scotland. You don't drive, do you? I don't drive. So, so no. therefore you find taxis are essential to get around? They are, yeah, Good. very helpful, certainly. And you use black cabs rather than other other means of transport? I do, Mostly, yeah. yeah. If, I'm in, if I'm in Edinburgh, I'll mm. use a black cab. Demi, so you take a taxi because you need it, because of Joe here, or do you um, take a... I had to take a taxi up the town before because there wasn't enough room on the bus. Like, at rush hour, it's quite busy, so there's no room on buses, so I've had to jump in a taxi before, yeah, for that. So, Margaret, you take taxis all the time? Yes, quite a lot. I for do. what reason? Well, when I've got loads of messages, I take them home. That's one of the, uh, you know, taking taxis now because, well, the bus service is quite slow in between. Uh, and, <laughs> and, and I like, I prefer it. It's much easier. Why would you take a taxi then? If if it was a case of going somewhere special, right? And you know, and you're all maybe you up to go somewhere and you you not wanted to go into maybe you raised up going out for an evening or something like that. I'd see the point of getting into a taxi a few of you. That's all right. Within Scotland, taxis are regulated differently by different authorities. For example, some authorities stipulate that all taxis have to be equipped to deal with disabled passengers, but other authorities don't impose these sorts of rules. And there are differences in what's expected of cars and drivers, depending on whether you're a public hire, a black cab driver, or a private hire driver. Do you take a taxi because it's handy or because, because you need- Because it's handy, yes, if I'm getting home late in the evening. And for and safety's for sake? safety, yeah. Good. And in the bad weather too. I, the only issue I have is with cost. If if there's five people yes. in the company, then it's it's a reasonable it's a reasonable cost. But if you're travelling alone or just two of you, then it's it's too expensive. And you find them quite safe and easy to get into? They're n it depends if well, it depends on the taxi driver really. If they're if they're willing to help you, it is but sometimes they're a bit lazy to get it's, out. It's not easy. And you find them reliable? Yes, the only time in Musselburgh they're not reliable is between the school time, four o'clock. Most of the taxis in Musselburgh are school runs, so they're very difficult to get in at that time. In fact, the whole taxi regime in Scotland is coming under official scrutiny. The Scottish Government has proposed changes to the way taxis are regulated, and my committee is examining those changes to see how they work. Well, taxi licensing is only part of the bill. Uh, Cameron has taken a, a lead in this area. I think everybody has got an opinion about taxis. Um, what we would like them to do is to share their opinions with us and let us uh, know what they think uh, about the provisions that are in this new bill. Uh, obviously, uh, changes will always affect not only uh, the taxi drivers themselves, uh, but also members of the public. So we are very, very keen indeed to hear what they think. So here's what Parliament wants your views on. Is there a consistency between black cab and private hire licensing regimes? Are there enough taxis available? Are they accessible enough to impaired users? And do you think all drivers should have to meet the same standards, levels of knowledge and background checks? Please do let us know your views. You can get in touch with the Local Government and Regeneration Committee by writing to us or by email or telephone or through social media.